Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave at last. Been a little busy with the whole pandemic thing and shift changes and things like that to cover things that are going on, just like everybody else is dealing with. Haven't had much time to get my big stick forward done. Spent some time on it in the last couple of days, just uh, stole some time and got it finished up. And what I want to do with this video is give you a whole overview uh, from the beginning to the end and then have a close look at it and you can see what it's all about. I'll go through that process really quickly. It is a long video. What I've done is I've put in the description below quick links to, to different sections in the video. So if you want to just skip forward, look down in the description, click on the time and the link. Uh, it'll take you to that part of the video. Uh, hopefully that'll help you get through it. Otherwise, it's a long one. I'm not really going to say much about it. Uh, I'm just going to show you it. I'll hopefully find some appropriate music to go with it. And there'll be a lot of uh, tags in it and just information that I'll put up for you to have a look at. So you can see what I was doing when you're watching the video. Anyway, don't want to keep you too long. So let's have at it. Here we go. Beginning to end on Big Stick 4. bit bigger and it might just work for a hiking pole. We'll soon find out.
but we have a handle and I like it nice and simple and kind of bushcrafty.
the joys of a kitten. You know, nobody told me it was going to be like that. the original head that was a different piece of wood and this is actually bass wood and to be honest I don't know what wood the original stick was um, I should have paid more attention to that but unfortunately I didn't I just found a nice piece of wood I was so excited I brought it home I didn't look to see where it came from the problem I had was I now had a separate piece of wood that I needed to join to the top of my stick now what I did was I carved this guy out and then Mac kind of matched it up. It was actually wider than the stick. outside and found uh, a stick that looked like about the right size that I could trim down. You can see I've trimmed it down here and what I'm going to do is you can see here this will go in there and it is a tapered stick so as it goes in it gets tighter and tighter and I'll just knock that in until it's tight. I will use some Elmer's everything glue just to hold them in there nice and tight. I'll trim it off clean them up and trim them down so that they're, they're nice and smooth so they don't stick out.
get a full coating of acrylic just to help protect it, give a little bit of strength on the outside. So there you go campers that's big stick four it's done uh, the varnish is on and everything is like that i might just put another coat on it maybe and i might just add as i think of things to add to it but for now it's ready to go out on a walkabout so hopefully we can get that going as soon as the weather starts cooperating it's been kind of uh, snowing very wet snow and slippery out there and i just didn't want to risk it so Hopefully, we can get out there soon and we'll take him for a walk. So, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story, and I'm pretty sure I'll be back. Hopefully, without any interruptions on an irregular basis. Here it is here. It's all done, and hopefully it'll inspire you to do something yourself. Next time you're out trudging around in the bush, you might want to look around for a stick. You never know. You might be able to make yourself a good walkabout partner. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Be safe. Bye.